Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is it is extremely good that you are feeling this way. It is, it is, you should be rejoicing that you are feeling this way. It is good news that you are feeling this way. I'm sure you're going to be surprised, but it is good news that you are feeling this way. This is, this is what people describe as the itch, okay, where you begin. Because truth, truth be told, you have never known all these things, but it has never bothered you, okay. Once it begins to bother you, it means that God is calling you higher. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you. Once it begins to bother you, once you begin to think about it, you begin to worry about it, quote unquote, God is calling you higher, okay? Your higher self is calling you. You're about to move into a new dimension of yourself, okay? Now, this is what Martian Evans describes as the gap, okay, in her five purpose pathway. I've forgotten what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. It's extremely important. Like, you are so blessed to be feeling this way. And the way you manage this season will determine if you grow or you remain in the gap, okay? okay. So now that we have debunked the fact that it's a bad feeling, it's not a good thing to do, we have debunked that. It's very, very good and it's good news that you are in the gap now. You're feeling that. We are feeling the itch. You're feeling the stretch. You're feeling like you want to get to know yourself more. You want to know your purpose. It's absolutely brilliant. And I'm super proud of you if you are in that place. First thing you do, and in her question, she mentioned that she does not know herself. She doesn't know what she likes. The truth of the matter is, nobody can help you with that. I'm going to tell you. Even this video will not be able to help you if you, not, if you do not do the work. Nobody can help you. Nobody can help you get to know yourself. There's no book that will help you to get to know yourself. Nobody can help you apart from yourself and the Holy Spirit. Like, just imagine. Only two people in this world can help you, particularly one person, the Holy Spirit and yourself, can help you get to know yourself. If you do not know what you like, that's a cue. That you should find out okay i want to alert you to start taking your fears and your worries as cues to actually do something okay your fears are only your emotions are only supposed to be felt they're supposed to give you a cue to do something it's not supposed to determine what you do it's not supposed to make you worry no it's telling you it's like a, it's like it's beeping when you see um when the fire alarm goes off do you sit down and worry no you get up and you run out of the building because there's fire or you go and look for water or you call the fire service you do something do you see you do not just hear the fire alarm and you're like oh the fire of this place is about to burn and you start getting away no you get up and you take action and that is how you should consider your emotions that's how you should consider your cues that's how you should consider your fears okay so now that you are aware and it bothers you that you do not know yourself when people ask you what do you like you do not know take your time to find out how i've done a couple of videos on that already they are, i'll i'll link them in this video so do watch them read about it journal journal is like journaling is like one of the greatest ways to find yourself journaling right because the truth of the matter is you may not be conscious of yourself like you are awake but you're asleep do you get journaling is what brings you alive it, it's like you're pouring yourself out into a book so you can look at it so you can look at yourself as a third party. Do you understand? That's how you learn about your life. That's how you learn yourself. Okay? So if you're in a place where you do not know what you like, you do not know what makes you happy, you do not know what your strengths are, if anybody asks you what do you want, you do not know. Don't beat yourself up. Take that as a cue and find yourself. Now I'm going to tell you this. Be patient with yourself. You are not um, a robot. That we can just put your software into the computer and it'll give us your code. No. You're not like that. You are a human being, okay? You exist, like, you live. Do you understand? You are fluid. Do you get? So, take your time. Have patience with yourself. You're not going to find yourself out in a day or even a month. You would have made a lot of progress in a month, but you will not be done. You will not be anywhere close to being done, okay? So, take your time. Don't beat yourself up. Don't expect to have figured it out by the following day. Don't expect to have figured it out by the end of the month. Do you understand? Take your time. Get to know yourself. Ask yourself questions. I've done a couple of videos. I'm not going to make this video extra long. So find yourself. Get to know yourself. What you identify that you do not know, go and find it. Easy peasy. Watch my other videos. They would give you all the resources you need. There are links. Um, and I took my time in those videos to break it down. Okay? After you have gotten to know the things that you do not know, how do you find your purpose? If you want to find your purpose in life, do not focus on finding your purpose. I'm sure you're not expecting me to say this. Now, let me tell you something. I, I do not know what my purpose is entirely. Like, if you ask me what's my purpose in life, I will be 
I'll be saying lots of things. Like, I'll be... Blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you the truth. But what I have done is I have focused on what God is telling me to do in this season of my life. Now, your purpose is not to be a teacher or to be an accountant or even to be a ministry gift or to be a, a menstrual. Your purpose is not like that. Do you understand? Your purpose is how you live your life, how you flow through life. And if you want to know more about this, I would advise that you read um, Believe Bigger by Martian Evans. Your purpose is who you are. It's, it's, it's less of what you do and more of who you are. Like, God help me to explain this to you. It's not really what you do, but who you are. Okay? So there's a difference between your purpose and your assignment. Assignments are short term. Okay? So maybe in the. In these five years, God expects of you to be doing this, to be reaching out to this kind of people, to be doing this, to be doing that, to be doing ABC. That's your assignment in this season. Your assignment changes per time. Assignment changes per season. The seasons will shift. God will tell you to move, stop doing this, do something else, or focus on this in this in this season of your life. Or focus on this other thing. Those are assignments. They are short term, maybe five, maybe three years. But your purpose is like who you are in your entire life. Like how how god expects you to show up how god expects to use you your voice what you stand for in your entire life do you understand your assignments may not even look like anything like your purpose it may not look like what your entire purpose is about but that's what god has asked you to do in this season so if you're struggling to find your purpose it makes sense that you're struggling god will give you grace God will open your eyes. This, of course, God wants you to know. And that's another thing you should know. Do not live life. Do not do not um, operate from the understanding that God does not want you to know your purpose. So God will not tell you. Or God is going to have to tell a prophet to come and tell you no. God doesn't work like that. One thing God alerted me of when I was asking about all of these things. Why won't you tell me? Because I just want to know so that I do it. Like, it's very simple. Why won't you just tell me so that I do it? So I was having these conversations with God. And he was like... In my mind, I was thinking God will not tell me. So I was thinking, okay, you if you not tell me, tell somebody to come and tell me. Like, it's very simple, Abby. And he's like, I will not die for you to not talk to you. I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, it hits me hard. Like, God will not die for you to not talk to you. God wants to talk to you. He's always talking to you. You may not understand. You may not hear. There's so many things. But God is always talking to you. Do not... Do not feel like God will not talk to you. He has to tell your mother to tell you. He has to tell your friend. He has to tell that friend of yours that's spiritual. That friend of yours that you pray with. That friend of yours that prays for you or your pastor. God, God talks to you as well. Yes, he can speak to other people. But God talks to you. God wants to talk to you. He's interested in you. I'm talking to you in particular. God wants to talk to you. Okay? So do not be afraid. Do not feel like, oh no, God will not tell me what my purpose is. But do not be fixated on finding your purpose so much so that you miss your assignment in the season. Understand? Get to know yourself. Everything that you need to, to, to fulfill purpose, everything that you need has been placed in you. You've been given that ability. Do you understand? It's already inside of you. Do you get? So once you get to know yourself, and once you spend more time with God, you get to know where your assignment is. You see that it's, it's something that could be just be drawing your attention. You seem to get interested in something. Take it up. Do it afraid. You will, the truth is, if you want to be clear 100% of the time before you step out, you will not step out. If a farmer wants to see rain before they plant, they would already be late. Do you understand? And sometimes Christians find it difficult because we feel like because we have the Holy Spirit, we should have 100% clarity before we take a step. It doesn't always work like that. It doesn't always work like that. If you're asking God and it seems like God is not talking, it seems like God is not saying anything, whatever is impressed on your heart, take a step and ask God to guide you. Some of us are too afraid to make mistakes because we feel like if we make a mistake, we destroy God's plan completely. Ask God before you take a step, pray about it. Talk to God. If God says don't go, don't go. If God says go, go. If God is not really saying anything and you are interested in it take some time pause spend time with god if you really don't see anything take a step ask him to guide you you may make a mistake he'll redirect you that is it god is not going to spoon feed you my love he loves you but he's not going to spoon feed you because sometimes you're going to have to build courage in the process you're going to make mistakes yes god knows you will make mistakes but his grace is all encompassing okay i'm not saying be be immature and just 
go around and destroy your life you might end up making your path even longer but do not also sit down and wait for 100 clarity before you move take a step god will show you the rest of the way that is the truth a lot of people do not have the full picture before they start god will only tell you one word create that instagram page that is all god will tell you now when you start and you're moving you keep getting ideas you try them out you learn so even with finding your purpose finding out what god wants you to do take a step do something do something do something step out be afraid and do it okay step out do it god will guide you god will help you the holy spirit will be with you if you make a mistake he'll redirect you you're gonna have to learn through your mistakes as well you have to learn through other people's mistakes but your mistakes are also there are also ways to which knowledge comes into your life do you understand? so do not be afraid to make mistakes change the way you see failure like re-engineer your mind on the way you see failure some of you are not stepping on not because you've not really heard from god but you're afraid to fail and if you're if you are afraid to feel you will never step out because the truth is you have got you have the Holy Spirit, but you will be terrified on days when you are doing what god has asked you to do do you understand something you're not even sure what god has asked you to do i should go and you're praying god wants you to be entirely dependent on him that is how he wants you to be so he's going to tell you some and he's not going to tell you the rest i'm telling you if god told me that my i was going to sell hard copies of my books this way i'm not sure i would have written the book and so i've even come to a point in my life where i don't ask god for the full picture I'm just interested in knowing what my assignment is per time, per season, right now. What do you want me to do? And that's what I focus on. Because if I know if God tells me the full picture, I will spoil it. When I'm afraid of something, I will spoil it. <laughs> Not like I have the power to necessarily destroy God's plan for my life, but I will spoil it. Out of fear, I'll talk about it. I will be too afraid. I may not trust God. I, I'll overthink it. God is trying to save me all that stress. He's like, okay, jump. That's all I need to know. Jump simple i will jump but i jump if you not catch me like catch me i do not care so focus on finding your assignments the time and focus on doing what god is telling you in that season your purpose will will come as you go on clarity comes as you go you get as you grow your mind will begin to expand god will be able to explain things to you in a different way what was god going to tell um how do I explain it? Now, I, I, I have a problem when we ask children, what do you want to be in the future? I, I don't, I'm not totally against it, but then I feel like we force them to pick something that is existent now. Do you understand? But what was Mark Zuckerberg going to say he wants to be in the future? The owner of Facebook. There was no Facebook. There was nothing like that. Probably the internet was very scarce in his time. Do you get But as he grew, he, he nurtured his interest. It's not wrong to actually what he wants to be. But let's just be sure we do not box them into things that are existing. We, I, I have no clue the the possibilities that are going to be available in five years. Do you understand? Or even in, like I don't even know five years. Talk of ten years. So just imagine trying to force myself into, to fit into something. No, I'm going to do what God requires of me to do now. Because as I go and as time goes and as things change, God is going to be showing me things to do. Okay, this assignment is over. Move on. And if I have tied my identity and I and tied my purpose to that, it will be very difficult for me to move on. So do not do that. Do, look for what God is telling you to do now and focus on it. Nobody walks around with something written on their forehead. I know my purpose. It makes no difference. Do what God is asking you to do in this season. And that's it. You're fine. Your purpose will come to you. As time goes on, you'll be able to clarify it. You, you'll be able to identify it. When you look back, you'll be able to trace it. Okay, so when I was here... I was doing this when i was here i was doing this but in a different way when i stood here i was doing this in a different way in the different seasons of my life i have consistently been a sage in the different seasons of my life i have consistently been an equipper in this season of my life i've consistently seen that i do this but in different ways in different ways do you understand so don't box yourself at all at all get to know yourself get to know what god wants you to do in this and just ask God, what do you require of me now? And once you get to know yourself, now I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you with this thing. And believe bigger. <clears throat> Marshall spoke about the fact that your purpose can actually be related to something you have never done before, you have never tried before. And I was like, God, my God. So be open to things you have never done before. 
be open to trying new things okay don't box yourself that's something be open to trying new things because you may find out that you actually do like website developing and that could that is not your purpose but that's just an example let me give you an example when i was on campus i was part of the choir chosen vessel choir now we went for a retreat and no, it wasn't a retreat it was a prayer meeting and one of my friends was praying well praying and one of my friends um told me that um god said he's proud of me and he's going to um, bring me into things that i did not even know i could do i'm like what's that what's that he's going to she was talking about and i don't i don't even think she remembers i'll i'll text her um she was telling me that god is going to god said he's proud of me and He's going to bring me to things that I didn't, I didn't even know I had the ability to do. No longer after that, I became, I was made the secretary of the choir, and I was so pissed. I think I should even, I should even make a video on this. I was so pissed because I'm like, oh, secretary, I don't like writing letters. I do not, I do not appreciate it. Like I do not appreciate this thing. <laughs> I do, I do not like writing letters. I do not, I do not like anything that has to do with the secretary. And I was really pissed. But later, it came to me and I realized that I was actually good at it. And I did it for two years. I mean, I still don't like writing letters. And I'm still the secretary of other um, um, groups. But I, it has, I have come to realize, just imagine that I have rejected it because I said I did not um, know how to write letters or I wasn't good at it. It was something I was good at, but I had no clue about. I did not know I could be good at So there are things that god has called you to do that you have no clue about you have not tried before it's not in your talent people will usually say your purpose can be found in your talent what you usually like it is true it could be true but it's not always true okay because sometimes you will say your purpose is what you you can easily do and you can you probably can easily do it because you started doing it young and that's just it or you find it fun but there are things that god could be calling you to do that you have never tried before you have never heard of before you have never done before you do not know of do you understand and you feel like it's just too big do you understand so allow yourself to try things don't box yourself allow yourself to try things just get to know yourself get to know what god wants you to do in this season and be open to try new things that's it you're fine you and god you're cool just focus on making sure that god is pleased with you every other person with all the plenty english you want to speak and everything you want to do should not be your problem okay i hope this video blessed you i hope blessed you because even as i was talking about god gave me a lot of insights give me some light bulb moments and i hope he gave he gives you some answers in today's video i will see you in my next one i'm Casey again if you're new here if you've not liked this video if you've not subscribed please go ahead subscribe leave a comment i'll see you in the comment section bye